Welcome to our very own Australia Day here at the Regatta. Nat, what do you have lined up for us tonight? Emma, we've got 12 hours of music madness, including eight DJs and three levels. We've also got our interview with our new resident DJ, Paul Bell, and with Sergeant Slick. We're also going to be taking a look back at Halloween, where Joel interviewed some people wearing crazy costumes. Speaking of crazy costumes, we should go check out what people are wearing for Australia Day right now. So I want to know, guys, what's your favourite thing about being Australian? The beach. Yeah, the beach, definitely. Barbecues and Bundy. Oh, and what do you like to throw on your barbecue? A um, couple of steaks and sausages, you know, onion. Is that what you've got planned to do tomorrow for Australia Day? Definitely, by the pool. With me is the regatta's newest resident DJ, Paul Bell. Hey, how you doing? Fantastic. Now just give us a bit of background about yourself. I started way back in uh, 1989, back down in uh, Melbourne town, Frankston, for anyone who knows it. Um, I spent pretty much from 89 to 99 working flat out week after week, roughly four nights a week for about 10 years. For a final, I thought I deserved a holiday, so I took a couple of years off, got back into it, finished up in about 2004 before becoming a fellow Queenslander, moved up this way. One of my best mates from Melbourne, Paul Ison, who happens to be the entertainment manager for the regatta, um, told me he wanted me to get back into DJing. I've been tossing it up for a while and I thought, why not? So, yeah. Friday nights, tonight, loving it. Now you're here for Australia Day. What have you brought to us tonight in the set? Well, it's interesting you say that. I was born in England, but I've got my own English flavour, Australian flavour, so it's a bit of everything. So it's playing all the classic tunes that sort of Australians have come to love over the years, all the classics, all the anthems. And what's the biggest difference between the Melbourne and Queensland scene? I've got to admit, after working probably 14, 15 years in Melbourne, less than a year in Queensland, I'd have to, I'm enjoying Queensland crowds that Woo! I think they're more relaxed, more up for it, less pretentious. Sorry, Melbourne, but you're getting too up yourself for your own good. That's a fact. Get out there, have fun. It's all about the music. Absolutely. What's the biggest piece of advice you could give to someone wanting to start out to do what you're doing? Believe in yourself. And first and foremost, if you're not doing it for the music, don't get into it. First is always got to be about the music. When you love the music, you'll love playing it. You'll play the right tunes and you'll connect with the people. And what are you doing for Australia Day? For me, I'm spending it with my friends and my family. Excellent. We look forward to watching you at the regatta. Pleasure. Thank you. Scare you? Don't think so. <laughs> Welcome to Regatta's Halloween party. Plenty of peeps dressed up here. Let's check it out. Tracy and Angela are here for Regatta's Halloween party. You're obviously witches. Did you fly in on the broomstick? We did. I doubled her. Yep. Wow. Fun. Did you enjoy it, Angela? Very much. I can tell you've got that little smirk on your face. So you got the broom. Where's the cat? Oh, he's at home. He couldn't make it tonight. He had a little <laughs> health code. It's not allowed inside. Get kicked out when he comes here. That sucks. The three ugliest people here. What's your names, peeps? Simon and Tim. Oh, I couldn't hear. <laughs> anyway. Ugh. Good night. Yeah, mate. Off the chain. So 21st as well as Halloween, double whammy. Exactly. Two for the price of one, pal. <laughs> Loose, big night. Yeah, I think it might be, mate. Still very early, early hours. So keep going to the early morning. <laughs> I can't take these guys seriously. <laughs> you guys are quite cosy. What's your names? Drama. Drama and? Noodles. Noodles. Much thought going into your outfits. How we love Halloween. It's the best. Have you been trick-or-treating yet? Not yet, but we will. Really? So, you've, do you guys know each other? No. Yes, we do. With me is Janine and Jess. Hello, ladies. stood out to me. Where'd you get it from? Oh, look, there's nothing more Australian than Kmart for the skirt and City Beach for the shirt.
shirt. So I'm here with Chewy, who is a member of the Australian drinking team. And I'm dying to know, Chewy, are you an official member? Do you take this role very seriously? I, we've been working hard. It takes years of practice and look, you know, the results are there. It's good to see. <laughs> oh, look, oh, and so what do you have planned for tomorrow, Australia Day? I think it's all about recovery. Recovery after tonight at Regatta? Absolutely. Drink hard. I want to join the team. Hey, I'm here with Christy. Christy, what's your favourite thing about being Australian? Um, I would have to say the boys. Definitely. Boys. There are a lot of cute Aussie boys. <laughs> and what have you got planned tomorrow for Australia Day? I'm um, just having a big barbecue with some friends. A nice way to celebrate Australia Day, day off. <laughs> J or Sergeant Slick as some of his fans like to call him. Now, how do you get a nickname like Sergeant Slick? Well, I actually bought this record out about 10 years ago called White Trouble Black Bass and I didn't have a name for it. It was a 10 second decision, so there is no, no more interesting stories to tell about that. It's just Sergeant Slick. <laughs> okay, now you've worked with a lot of people. If you had to pick an Australian music artist that you would most like to work with, who would it be? Uh, it would have to be... Uh, Michael Hutchins, but... Why? why? Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> Working with a dead artist, very interesting. <laughs> no, I really like Michael Hutchins' vocals and all his songwriting. I love the whole NXS stuff, so even if I could do a remix, that'd be awesome. It's Australia Day tomorrow. What do you have planned? Um, I think I'll be waking up with a hangover here, actually. <laughs> Big night at the regatta, hey? Well, I don't think there ever has been a small night at the regatta every time. I've... This is true. They're quite crazy. And I don't know if you know this yet, but this is actually the third time we've interviewed you for RTV. And your footage has yet to make the cut. So... I'm very happy about no, that. <laughs> I can see tape scattered all over the floor. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully this time... Is that your fault? Are no, you this, this isn't my doing, I swear. Hopefully this one will be you. Yeah, I hope. Stand behind the camera, you better put it in. <laughs> well, I really look forward to seeing your set tonight and see what you're going to come up with. Yeah, I can't wait. I always love it here. So, when what do you have planned for your Australia Day? I'm going to be throwing on my Aussie bikini and heading around to a friend's for a barbecue and pool party. What about you? Well, that sounds good. I'm having the whole Aussie barbecue on the balcony and listening to the Hottest 100. That sounds very nice. Well, this brings us to the close of yet another very hot night here at the Regatta. Happy, Happy Australia Day! Australia Day.